hey guys in today's video i want to answer a question that a lot of you have been asking me um the type of questions that airport immigration officers are likely to ask you if especially if you're traveling on a visitor's visa to canada so airport immigration officials in canada may ask a variety of questions um to visitors upon arrival in canada and these questions are aimed at determining the purpose of your visit ensuring compliance with immigration regulations and assessing your eligibility to enter Canada. So while the specific questions you're likely to be asked may vary, here is a list of common questions that immigration officials may ask you and I'm going to give you like sample answers that you can give. So obviously um, the number one question you're going to be asked is what is the purpose of your visit to Canada? So basically how you answer this is I am visiting Canada to spend time with my significant other or let's say if you are attending a conference, you will just say I am visiting Canada to attend name of conference. Yeah. And then the next question you're going to be asked is how long do you plan to stay in Canada? So a sample answer you can say I plan to stay for the duration of the conference which is three days or five days or two days. In such a case, they may ask you when does the conference takes place. So you will just say the conference starts on 15th of May and it ends on 30th of May, for example. Question number three you're likely to be asked by Canada immigration officials is where will you be staying during your visit? So you can say, I will be staying at the designated conference hotel, which is the official accommodation for conference attendees. That is like the Marriott, for example. Or if let's say you are visiting your significant other, you will just answer, I will be staying at, I don't know, your name of the accommodation, or I'll be staying with my brother, with my sister, with my boyfriend. Or if let's say it is like you're a visitor, so you're gonna be in a hotel, um, um, so you can, if let's say you're going to, as a visitor, you'll just say, I'll be staying at, you know, the name of the accommodation or such as a hotel, or if you're staying with your friends or family, you need to have their exact address. So I'll be staying at, you know, my friends, family members address. This is whatever, whatever. So have that on paper, not on phone, because your phone could die, the battery could die out. And then number four, you can be asked by immigration officials. And by the way, guys, these questions, you can be asked by any country's immigration officials even though i'm saying like it's for canada yeah do you have a return ticket to your home country simple answer yes i have a return ticket and they may ask you when is that so you can say i have a return ticket booked for 20th of may question number five you'd like to be asked by airport immigration officials if you are on a visitor visa do you have enough funds to support yourself during your stay in canada of course you better say yes so you can say yes i have and then they might want to know like how much so just say like i have more than enough funds to cover my expenses while i'm in canada or in the u.s or whatever or if let's say you're staying with um, let's say you're gonna visit your sister your brother you can say i'll be staying with my partner who will also be supporting me during my visit question number six have you visited canada before if yes we'll say yes and if it is no you will say no most probably if you say yes they will ask you for how long so you'll just say yes i visited canada last year for two weeks three weeks one month and if you like to be if you're like talking too much you can say i thoroughly enjoyed my time there and can't wait to explore more of the country question number seven are you traveling alone or with someone else so if you are traveling with somebody else, you can say, yes, I am traveling with my sister, I am traveling with my dad, I am traveling with my friend. Um, or if you're traveling by yourself, you can say, yes, I am traveling alone. Yeah. And then the other question I'd like to be asked at the airport is, is anyone meeting at the airport? So just if somebody's meeting, you can say, yes, my partner will be meeting me or the conference, whatever will be meeting me or whatever. If no one is meeting, you can just say, no, no one is meeting me. I'm going to take an Uber to my address. Um, the other question I'd like to be asked, what is your occupation? What is your profession? What do you do? So you can just say, I work as a pilot in Kenya, or I work as um, a chef at the Hilton in Nairobi, um or whatever it is or i am an entrepreneur or i am a business lady so just answer accordingly 
Question number nine, you're likely to be asked by immigration officials at the airport, are you carrying any restricted or prohibited items? You better not be carrying any. So you just answer, no, I am not carrying any restricted or prohibited items. And they may ask you, how sure are you? So you can say, I have carefully checked and packed my belongings according to the regulations. Question number 10, you're likely to be asked by ever um, airport immigration officials, have you ever been refused entry to Canada or any other country? You can say no, I have never been refused entry to Canada or any other country. But if you have been refused, you better have a solid answer that explains why you were refused. So guys, generally, whatever question you're being asked, it all points out to one thing. Do you have ties strong enough in your home country that will ensure as soon as your time in Canada is up, you will return. That's basically what all these questions are designed to answer. So I wish you all the best on your trip to Canada. May you enjoy and have a good time. I will see you on the next video. Bye guys. Oh, if you are traveling um, to Canada on a visitor's visa to attend a conference, another question that you are likely to be asked is, why are you attending this conference? So you can answer that this particular conference allows me to connect with my colleagues in the industry and other professionals in the industry and keep abreast with the latest in my field. Or if let's say you are one of the presenters, you can just say, I am also one of the presenters. So it gives me an opportunity to also share with other um, like-minded professionals in the industry. Bye guys. Love you. Oh, if you haven't yet, is it subscribed or followed me? Please do so. Bye guys.